So, hey guys, I'm Harika, um, pharmacist practicing in Australia. I'm a hospital pharmacist. Basically, I finished my education in India. Um, I'm associated with uh, academically the Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Sciences Training Institute in Australia. We've been um, coaching students to uh, towards their CAPS exam, which is an entrance level exam, which will uh, help them help overseas pharmacists practice as pharmacists in Australia. So I've got Petro here with me. Congratulations, Petro, you made it. Thank you. Yes, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it was a pleasure teaching you. Um, I'm excited to know more about you. Petro, would you like to introduce yourself and give a brief about yourself, please? Yes. Um, we've immigrated to South Australia about uh, 11 months ago. Before that, I was a practicing pharmacist in South Africa. Um, I worked in retail and in hospital pharmacy. In the last few years, I was co-owner of a pharmacy, which I sold when we came here. Yes. So, and it's been 30 years since I've been to university. So this was quite a, a big thing to start studying again. That was quite inspirational, but you made it. Actually, you killed it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so um, can you please share me uh, your CAPS exam journey and your preparation strategy? Um, I wasn't always uh, able to join the live lectures because of having kids and doing sports, especially over weekends. But I watched the lectures, most of them, three times, and I did my notes. Maybe the second time, it wasn't always possible the first time because it's it's quite quick. So I did my own notes, and um, yes, and, and then I listened to the lectures again and went through my notes, and your handouts also made my notes up on there as well. So um, in the end, I went through it quite a few times and then I did the mock tests quite a few times as well and the grand tests. And there was a lot of the questions um, in the exam that was in the mock test and in the, the grand exam. All of the calculations, more or less the same questions, just different values. Great. So you found the mocks very useful too? Yes, definitely. Yes, that helped a lot. Yes. Um, yeah so what made you join academically and how academically helped you clear this exam um when i decided to do the exam um when you look at all the the stuff online for at the australian pharmacy council they it's a bit vague or they give you the topics i mean if you do organic chemistry or analytical chemistry it's it was a whole semester at uni so to do that or prepare for that in a few months. So I felt a bit defeated. And then I started um, looking on Facebook if there's maybe something there or a person that I can contact and hear how they found the exam and what they studied for. And that's where I found academically. And yes, that made a big difference because if you start on or you want to do it on your own, it's so vast, all the topics and stuff, you can't really study everything that you've learned at uni in a short period of time. So yes, that's yeah. I found academically and it really make, made a big difference um, on what way to start and what to study for. So it made your exam, I mean, like it made help your exam clear in a bit of quicker way than what it Yes, is. definitely, yes, yes. So yes. how many months approximately did you take to clear this exam? Um, the, the lecture start in July. Yeah. Um, I joined then. So it's actually, it's been almost four months preparing, listening to the lectures and trying to catch up during the week. I'm, I'm not working currently, so I had the time during the week to catch up and do my notes and start preparing. So it's it was quite a long time. So yeah. yes, I, I, oh, was I think I was well prepared. Yes. Yeah. You finished the vast syllabus in four months, which is great. And you're 30 years like away from uni and you made it, which was mm. great. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what is your advice for your friends who want to take this exam, CAPS exam? I think firstly, you need to join a platform like Academically just to narrow it down and know what you need to study for. Because yes, as I said, it's, it's just too vast to start on your own and you don't know where to start and what to leave out. Um, and then you need to prepare yourself. It doesn't help if you only watch the lectures and think that you would pass. Um, you need to to do a bit of work yourself as well and not think you can sit back and only watch the lectures. You need to do your own notes and like you said before, listen and then write and then see it, then you remember it. 
better. So yes, definitely you need to put in a lot of hard work as well, um, yeah. together with all the lectures and the handouts and the mock tests and everything, yes. That's great. That was a good piece of advice. Um, well, uh, what are your future plans? <laughs> um, uh, now we need to register at Opera and then I'll be searching for an intern, pharmacy intern job and then do the hours and then then do the next exams and the oral exam and then register as a pharmacist and then work as a pharmacist in Australia. Yes. yes. So quite excited for that. That's yes. very exciting. And so you'll have to finish your English test as well, isn't it? PT. Or... I have done it for yeah. our visa. So yes. Oh, but yes. I need to apply for APRA quite quick because my language test is only valid for another two months. So yes, but I, I did the test. So I have that already done. Yes. I'm sure you'll get the provisional registration very quickly. Yes. If you yes. do it as quickly as possible with your result and, you know, both mm. results, English test result and CAPS result, and you would get it very quickly. Yes. So that's the next thing that in the next few days I'll start doing that. Yes. Yeah. So it was really nice uh, talking to you today. Pleasure. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed your company in conversations and teaching and all that. And you did a very great hard work, I should say smart work, and you made it thank you. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. And I just want to thank academically you and Arif. Um, I think you really, especially because we were the first batch, there was yeah. quite a lot of hard work and, and stuff that you needed to prepare. And then some some people would be impatient and say, where's the lectures and where's the handouts? And I, I think you handled it well. And yes, good, yeah. uh, good luck in the future. And I hope a lot of students will join you and have the same results that that most of us had now with the first batch yes thank you very much and thanks for being patient <laughs> Petra. No, it's all good. Yes. <laughs> thanks for okay. your time darling thank you it's a pleasure okay have a good day thank, thank you. you bye, bye.